Spinning over the pages of Ancient Enemies, we spotlight the genie, a mysterious, half-human, half-alien creature born from the wreckage of a crashed spaceship. This book reveals his secret origin as he struggles with his alien birthright and his mission to kill an opponent he's never met. It begins not long after the events in Frank Miller's Ashcan, which shows the Ancient Enemies' origin. Two spacecrafts collide and the wreckage go crashing onto the Earth destroying much of our world, but part of this wreckage here landed near the Philippines. There the wreckage is discovered by a couple of greedy fishermen who are diving trying to make a fortune from the wreckage. Thinking that it might be treasures or untold amounts of gold, one of the fishermen dives below the, the surface to see what he can find. What he finds are pods of what look like little small creatures. And being greedy, he tries to carry two of these pods and ends up dropping one of them and drowning and going to his death. But meanwhile, one of the pods that he had touched becomes infused with his energy as well as the energy of the creature that was inside the pod. The survivor of the pod ends up growing up with the rest of the natives and becoming a fisherman, but it becomes clear pretty soon that he's specially gifted. When men from a shady corporation come looking for people who might have special abilities, the brother of the man who was killed always jealous of his brother, even in death, decides to rat him out and, and sell him out to the agency. This results in tragedy for the rest of the crew and the, the rest of the, really, the people of the island, but it's the origin of the genie. The genie is written by Kevin Van Hook, who's the co-creator of Bloodshot. I like how the story is told in almost a silver or bronze age kind of a way, where it just cuts right to the chase. It's a one-shot comic. I like that a lot. And so far, this has been the most interesting story to come out of the ancient alien storyline for me. What I like too is that this is the first regular price book in the whole run uh, that, that I've seen from the Frank Miller verse to come out that's not $8. So that was a plus and that was really the reason I picked it up. And I just kind of took a flyer on the book. Uh, I didn't really know if it was going to be good or not, but turns out it is a, it is a pretty good book. Add all that to the art of Jose Luis, and you got a winner here from uh, Frank Miller Presents. Since this is a one-shot, if you want to follow the future adventures of the Jenny, it'll probably be in the pages of Ancient Enemies. So that's going to do it for this Indie Comics review. Uh, thanks for stopping by. Be sure to hit the like button and the subscribe button, and turn notifications on so you know when I'm making my next video. So until next time, see you guys in the funny papers. I not only love reading indie comics, but I've self-published several indie comics of my own. You can find them on my Alternative City shop, which has a link below this video. There you'll find, along with my comics, t-shirts, stickers, and mystery boxes, you'll find pens and magnets that I call CBOs, or comic book originals, which are buttons, magnets, and pocket mirrors that I make from superhero comic books. These are one-of-a-kind items made from images cut directly from comic books, not photocopies, so each one is unique. Hey, don't forget to subscribe and leave a thumbs up.